were the Chargers were the Chargers one of the teams that you you thought were interested going in this process, and and, and what were your your thoughts, I guess, leading up to the pick? Uh, well, we definitely had a, a great conversation out at the combine. You know, uh, the, from the GM down to the the DB coach, the special teams coach, there was definitely you know some love in there. Uh, the meeting went real well. You know, I didn't get a chance to have any private workouts with them or any visits. But uh, that call, like I said, was the most important call I ever had. And then how do you feel like you fit into their scheme defensively? Uh, you know, because they, they play a little bit of man, a little bit of zone. You know, they, they vary in the way that they play the game. Uh, and that's something that we had in college. You know, we played a lot of man, but a lot of zone as well. So I definitely feel like I could fit that scheme. Jason, when you were on our radio show a few weeks ago, you mentioned that when you didn't meet with the Chargers, you fell in love with their organizational philosophy. What was it that stood out to you? Uh, just just the whole the coaching staff. You know, they feel like they're very, you know, player people. You know, they, they definitely take care of their players. They want they put their players in, a, in the best position to make plays. And so uh, just seeing that and, you know, like I said, feeling the love between those coaches was definitely something that I wanted to be a part of. Hey Jason, how do you uh, play bigger than five foot nine? Uh, you know, just moving my feet. You know, playing a lot smarter on the field. You know, I played against a lot of guys that were six two, six three. You know, I didn't really try to try to get my hands on them too much. But you know, once the ball's in the air, definitely being a competitor. Do you feel like five nine that you're a guy that can play consistently on the outside at, at this level? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like I showed the, the versatility um, out in the college level, being able to play in the slot and also being able to play on the outside. So uh, I just want to carry that over to the next level, learn from the veterans, uh, learn from my DB coaches, and make plays out there. Uh, Jason, what do you know about Chargers, and and do you know of a player named Ladanian Tomlinson? Yeah, of course I know who he is. Um, he's alumni, uh, a horn frog. A guy that I talked to plenty of times at, uh, before my senior season. Um, he's somebody that, of course, a legend at TCU, but also a legend at, in San Diego. So it's a blessing to be able to follow his footsteps, being uh, drafted in the first round, just like he was. And, and I just want to carry over the things that he did there. When you were in San Diego rehabbing, did you ever get a chance to drive past Chargers Park and see the team facility? Oh yeah, because uh, where I was staying, that was pretty close to the to the stadium, and so uh, I definitely had a little bit of moments driving past there and uh, visualizing myself on the field. And we actually played there when uh, my sophomore year at TCU, uh, when we played against San Diego State. So it, I got my first interception on that field, and I definitely would like to get another one out there in the Chargers uniform. That it is San Diego, where you trained. Your girlfriend's here. You're from California. What does it mean that it was San Diego? Uh, just just everything about the city. You know, uh, like you said, man, my, I got my family out there in California. They're up, up north in the Bay Area. And, you know, we're going to get a chance to play Oakland. And uh, Oakland's going to come down to San Diego, so I'm going to be able to have, you know, all the California love. But uh, I'm just blessed to be there, man. I just can't ready to get, get ready to go to work. Have you talked? Uh, much at all with Coach Miles through the process and just about your role or just about in football in general? No, nah, I mean, mainly we just, you know, chit-chat about, you know, how I performed at the Combine and, and at the Pro Day. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward for, you know, further conversations down the road as far as getting ready, you know, to be in that uniform and learning my role. So uh, I'm just waiting to get out there and, you know, once I learn my role, I'm just going to play hard. You said at the Combine that you felt you were the best cornerback in this draft. What in your mind separates you from the other guys in this class? Uh, my versatility. You know, like I said, uh, I definitely could play on the inside. I feel like I could blitz. I feel like I could play on the outside. And uh, I was able to show um, at the Combine that I had the best feet on, on the football field. As far as, you know, my quickness, um, it, it definitely stood out. So uh, carrying that over to the Chargers is definitely something that they can use. and. I'm just looking forward to going out there.
Have you heard from any of your uh, of your new teammates yet, Philip Rivers or any of the guys on this on this roster? No, ma'am. I have. You're going to join a position room where the veterans in that group include Eric Weidel, known as one of the better pros here in San Diego, understands the process of being just a professional, you know, watching film, taking care of your body. What does that mean to be in a spot where you can follow someone's lead and just watch how you know, one of the better players at his position works? Uh, it means a lot. You know, it was just like how when I got to TCU, I had to learn from the, the seniors. Uh, you know, and definitely learning my role on the football field. So learning from a guy like Eric Guedo, who probably go down as one of the best to play in San Diego, is definitely a blessing. You know, I, I know he's going to push me because I'm, I'm one of those guys that like to work, and he definitely makes a lot of plays. So uh, learning from him is, is only going to make the Boats, Boats Nation a lot better. Else? All right, Jason, I think we're good, man. Thank you for uh, giving us the time, and uh, we'll all look forward to meeting you when you get out here in San Diego. Congratulations.